Come in. Your brandy, sir. Ah, oh, welcome, messenger. Where is it? Where is it? Yes, sir. Divine broad. Oh. Hot girl, 1904, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, monumental vintage. Sometimes I... And the Hanson, turn out the light, will you? Yes, I think I'll read a while. What, sir? Sure, I read with my fingers. He can read in bed with the lights out, or even under the covers if it gets cold. Oh, I, I see, sir. Good night, sir. Good night. Sometimes I... your important business. It comes in bottles. You've given up your whole life to it. Maggie, I give you my word. I ain't gonna touch a drop. Not a drop. It's a scandal. The minute I saw you with that bow tie on, I knew it was Saturday night and you were going out to fill up on sweet wine like you always do. Maggie, no more, no more. It's been a terrible fight, but I got a lick now. Gee, you don't see me drinking anymore around here, do you? Maggie, I promise. No, I'm holding out the rest of your pay till you straighten up. Somebody will treat me like a man, because I am a man. I've fallen on ships that sail all the oceans of the world. I've been in two wars. I've heard all that before. Well, I'll tell you, Maggie. I was a family man once. Had a wife, a little girl. Some people have hopes they you know. Ever hear the guy who went to the corner to buy a pack of cigarettes and never come back?
know before you leave? Why? <laughs> See that you are a good boy. Who should I tell? The man laying dead by the bank. Rosa, who you made a shame. Papa, whose heart you broke. Can they hear me? It's too late, Vincent. It's too late. Lights, sweet music, rain. Guess I'm kind of tired. It seems like such a long time since I closed my eyes. I've got to go to the club. Why don't you get some sleep while I change my clothes? No, don't go away. Stay here and talk to me. Tell me things, sweet and pretty things. I'll close my eyes and make believe they're true.
sorry for you. Yeah, you got tears in your eyes. I offered you a way out. All you had to say when I showed the watch was just what I said. Johnny O'Clock, the hero, he wouldn't talk. He'll erect a monument to me. Put that coin down and listen to me. You're mad. You're stupid. Stupid? <laughs> How much money have you got? How much time have you got to live? Music goes with rain. Music goes with rain. Music goes with rain. Where are we going? Around the world in 30 days. Johnny, tell me. We're running. Far and fast. Far and fast. Go ahead, say it. Say what? What you got on your mind? I want to get out of here. We ain't going to break in any boxcar. I don't want to go to reform school like he did. We're going after the big stuff like he's doing now. Yeah? Maybe we'll do it without you. Listen, I'm running this gang, and you're going to do anything without me. Get it? Oh, Pat, leave him alone. I think he's wonderful. Sure. 
there won't be any slip-up. If you're worried about that, why did you engage me? Oh, now don't get burned up. If anyone can keep him off the hot seat, you can. But Louie's in a pretty tough spot. Well, I've seen him in worse. Yeah, I guess you have. Say, I bet I could knock my mother off on the corner of 42nd and Broadway, and you'd make the jury believe I was in Albany. I'm a Norman. No chance.
child, just think of something pleasant. Pretty soon you'll be going home to your wife. Think what she looks like. Think what she looks like. Think what she looks like. with you two jokers. Ain't there enough strife in this world without you starting a private war? I didn't want to fight. I didn't want any trouble. Boy, you give me some lip, Chief, and I ain't taking that off of no foreigner. All right, you can both tell it to the captain. Just a minute, officer. Montoot here don't mean any harm, and you know the condition of this fellow Lomax. I know all about it, and I'm fed up with it. Please give them another chance. Vincent Lubeck's never changed. But Warden, this is an institution for correction, not punishment. For the old-style gangster anymore? The Vincent Lubeck's are committing the most vicious crime there is. Crime against people. Street attacks, armed robbery, assaults upon women, murder.
like that. I'm doing it. Don't touch me. You're horrible. You're wonderful. But not to do business with. Get out of this apartment. It's me you hear whistling in the street. be sensible, Mr. Shaw. If you were a banker, I came to you and asked for a loan of $500,000. Would you allow me to put up $175,000 security? That's a different thing. Yes, it's a different proposition, I know, but the principle is the same. But, Mr. Well, let me finish, Mr. Shaw. I don't ask and I don't expect to get full security the way a bank does. But I do ask and expect 50%. Yeah, but do you get it? Uh, I see your point. It's a good question. <laughs> You've done business before, my boy. <laughs> Do I get it? Do I get it? <laughs> Something like that. That long. We were just kids, you remember? And you, what have you done? <laughs> Knocked around, seen a lot, I guess. You know, had some fun, maybe? Gamble? Gamble? Sure, sure, that's my business. Perhaps this is what I should remark, that... 
All life is a gamble. first-class cemetery over the hill. Very quiet. <laughs> I might even try that. Why don't you turn in early, dear, and get a good night's rest? I will. Trying to tell you that a million bucks in the bank 
wouldn't make the music sound any different than it does right here under these trees. Everything we have around us is the result of a frequency. And what that also means is that if you amplify the frequency, the structure of the matter will change. I'll go on my way.
Sei veramente ridicolo, cioè, un coglionissimo, ti giuro veramente. Sei veramente ridicolo, cioè, un coglionissimo, ti giuro veramente. Sei veramente ridicolo, cioè, un coglionissimo, ti giuro veramente. Sei veramente ridicolo, cioè, un coglionissimo, ti giuro veramente. Sei veramente ridicolo, cioè, un coglionissimo, ti giuro veramente. Sei veramente ridicolo, cioè, un coglionissimo, ti giuro veramente. Cioè, non posso credere, cioè, veramente non essere antico. Non essere antico, non essere antico, non essere antico, non essere antico, non essere antico. Se sono chiacchiere mi da dire, non sai niente. Se sono la mia spiaggia, ok, sono antico, sono antico. Joy, stai tranquillo, sei nudo con la pistola, si vede, stai tranquillo. Ehi, hey, sono antico, sono antichissimo, dormi in un museo, ok, sono antico, non è forfora, è polvere. Sono antichissimo, a casa mia ci vengono a fare le gite scolastiche ai bambini, ok, sono antico. L'estinzione dei dinosauri è colpa mia, ok, non li ho portati a pisciare, sono morti di vecchia. Sono antico, sono antichissimo, sono antichissimo, sono antichissimo, sono antichissimo, sono antichissimo, sono antichissimo. Marjorie. <laughs> you frighten me. I can help you if you like. I'm not only doing my best, but I'm enjoying it. Oh, you're very sweet. Did you do much writing today? Did you do much writing today? Did you do much writing today? Oh, gee, I'd love to be a writer, too. Well, why don't you try it, Pete? Your mother says you're very good at making things up. But some of your excuses are masterpieces of imagination. <laughs> <laughs> don't you listen to this scoundrel. Imagination's not enough. Just the other day, I read in a magazine that a writer must write only about things he knows. If he puts down truthfully the things he's actually experienced, if they're exciting enough, he's bound to be very successful. Very interesting, Mrs. Hamm.
Allora sentite, perché non mi date un colpo di telefono quando volete cominciare a prendere le cose un po' più seriamente? Vi lascio il mio biglietto. Ah.